everyone! Today's video is going to be a tour of my makeup collection so I hope you're going to like it. I've been promising this video for a little while and um, I am basically doing it because I love them first of all and secondly because I reached a thousand subscribers so I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a special video um, but I hope you're going to like it. I'm going to take you through everything that I have and how I store it and things like that. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy and I'll see you in my next one. Okay everyone, so this is my vanity here, which is from Ikea. Um, it's got this drawer at the bottom here, which I will show you in greater detail. Um, and it's basically a glass top um, to the vanity as well, which is ideal so that if you spill anything, then it's easy to clean. Um, it has a couple of drawers at the front here. Um, and yeah, just really, really pretty. From Ikea, I think it was just about £200 when I bought it. I'm not sure if it's a little bit more expensive now. Um, but basically, that's the bottom. And then at the top, it has this big mirror. So on either side, I keep some decorations. So on this side, I've got this thing here, which my sister gave me. And it says, I smile because you're my sister and laugh because there's nothing you can do about it. And I love it. I think it's awesome. So it just hangs there. Um, I've got a couple of necklaces as well. This was one I got in a Topshop sale, which is very pretty. And this one here was from Marks and Spencers. So I just kind of hang them there for use and for decorative purposes as well. And then this little love heart here was from Primark. At the other side here I've got one more necklace which is hanging at the back here which is from Marks and Spencers as well. I've got this little wooden heart which was from Primark as well and then this little angel which is more kind of like a Christmas decoration but I put it up at Christmas and decided I really liked her there so she's just going to stay there. Alright so this is my first corner here and basically I have this mirror here which is from Ikea because although that mirror over there is great um, it's not very close actually and I feel like I need something up close to see in so I bought this one here and it's always sat on this side of my vanity. Behind that I've got a little light from Ikea as well which I do use quite often when it's dark in the morning um, and then I've got this here which is my little mug that I got from TK Maxx and I just keep brushes in it so I've got some Real Techniques ones, I've got a MAC one and then various different eye ones in there so they're just the ones that I'm using um, quite a lot and that I like to display and this here I'm going to go in closer and we'll go into further detail on this because this is basically my everyday makeup that I use I find it easier if I just have it in a bag here it means if I ever go away for the weekend as well that I've got it here and I just need to zip it up and go so what I'll do is I'll zoom in and I'll go through this Okay, so as I said, this is my everyday makeup. So I keep everything in here from makeup to brushes as well. So I've got my Real Technique sponge here, which I use on a daily basis for foundation. Um, I've got a Healthy Balance powder. I've got a Real Techniques powder brush here. I've got the L'Oreal Miss Manga mascara. I've got an e.l.f. complexion brush, which I actually really love. I highly recommend this. I've got my NYX Smooth Skin Sunny Bronzer. I've got my favourite foundation, which is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I've got my Nooks Rev de Mil Lip Balm. A pair of tweezers. This is like my brow thing, which is by Diego de la Palma. I've got my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle for a highlight. This is like an eyebrow fixer that I use. This is my Stila Stay All Day um, Liquid Liner. And this is my Maybelline Eraser Eye Concealer. I've got my Baby Lips in Cherry. I've also got my Lasting Perfection Concealer. I've got some eyelash curlers. I've got a L'Oreal Blusher in 120 Rose Santal. And finally this is a Stila um, Smudge Stick Eyeliner. We've got this one drawer here. I don't use it for much, to be honest. All I keep in here is a little donut for my hair. That's a random coaster. And I've got a brush and a couple of different combs in there as well. So on this little side one here, I have a picture of Andy and I um, from his Pass Out Parade. And I've also got this little... Um, teacup and saucer and it's got my birthday on it and I just love this so much this is one of my favourite kind of ornaments that I have in my room and in this drawer here this is one of these drawers that's a mix of complete and utter random nonsense and um, the only things that I pretty much use in here are my contact lenses so that's in there and in the bottom honestly I can't even tell you what's in there it's got like random buttons 
random nail files and um, bits of paper some eye brushes like a little decorative cracker like I don't know what's going on in there but I just keep lots of junk put it that way and my contact lenses so this bit here is where I keep the majority of my makeup so I'm going to go through it these are Muji drawers I'll leave the link to the Muji website down below and you can pick these up they're just ideal for storing your makeup I think they look so pretty and they fit perfectly here so yeah on the fir this first bit here it's just kind of random um, different things I've got an elf um, contour blush and bronzing kit I've got these Fashionista blushes here as well which are really pretty and they come in a nice palette with a big mirror. This is a Stila Convertible Colour in Lilium I think it is. Yep. And a Max Factor um, cream blush there as well. I've got a couple of different concealers. I've got my Healthy Balance Concealer and this is my backup of my Eraser Eye because I adore that. I've got this Body Shop Bronzer which is stunning as well and that's an O2. I've got the backup of my powder, which I'll need to start using soon. I've got my um, Sleek Face Contour Kit. And this is a Sleek Trio of Blushes in Pink Lemonade. I really like this, but I think that the Sleek Blushes actually bring me out in spots, so I'm not 100% sure if I want to continue using this. Okay, so the drawer below that is blusher. I am a complete and utter blusher addict. It's really, really bad. I need to stop buying it because I'm just building up all this stuff that I'm not even getting the chance to use. But basically at the back here, I have got three of the benefit ones. I've got Coralista, Sugar Bomb and Rockateur. Um, I've got a number seven one here. Um, and I've also got a sleek one in the back there. I've got a couple of natural collection ones. I really like these and they're really affordable. I think they're about two pounds. I have got a pure minerals one here as well, which I loved for a long time time. Um, I've got an Inglot one. This MUA one I adore as well and it's really inexpensive. Um, a couple of MAC ones here as well. This one's kind of fallen to bits but it was my first MAC one so I'm a little bit sentimental about that one. Um, I've got High Beam here which is a highlighter and I've also got a couple of these mini ones from Benefit. I've got Benetint and Posy Tint. So in this third drawer down I have got lots of little eye goodies. Um, so at the back here I've got my MAC um, Paint Pot and Painterly. I've got a couple of these Maybelline 24 tattoo things, I can't remember what they're called. I've got a um, Benefit Cream Eyeshadow and Birthday Suit. This is a Stila Eyeshadow here in Kitten, I love this one. And this one's a L'Oreal Eyeshadow. It's in Prune Metal and that one's a dupe for MAC Satin Taupe. I've got this L'Oreal here one as well which I adore using. I have got an eye pencil sharpener. I've got a Natural Collection one here which I haven't used very much. Um, a Benefit Eyeshadow here which is sentimental because I've had that since my prom in 2010. I've got an MUA Purple Eyeshadow. A little number 7 one here. An Elf one as well. Um, this is a Maybelline Gel Eyeliner. I've got a little mini one of the... Benefit and um, push up liner. Mm, I'm not 100% sure on this. I've tried it a couple of times. I don't actually love it. Um, I've got an Ico liquid liner that one is. I think that I got that free in a magazine. I've got a NYX um, jumbo eye pencil. That's what they're called and that's just the white one. This is a L'Oreal liquid liner. I can't find the front of it. L'Oreal Super Liner. This is the Maybelline Falsies which I haven't opened yet and I've got an Urban Decay Glide On eye pencil there and some tweezers as well. So that's everything that's in that drawer. So down the bottom here I keep all of my lipsticks, lip glosses and things like that. Um, so at the back I've got a couple of lip liners. Um, I've got a collection cream puff here which I really like. I have got this L'Oreal lip gloss. I can't remember what these are called um, but they're a dupe of some YSL product I think. I've got this Revlon lipstick here which is one of my favourites so I'll show you that one. It's called Pink in the Afternoon. It's just absolutely stunning and I also love the packaging with the gold there. My only three MAC lipsticks that I own at the moment, although I do love the MAC lipsticks so I want to get more, I've got Rebel, Hot Gossip and Ravishing. I've got a couple of Revlon lip butters here as well. I've got a couple of Revlon lipsticks. That's an e.l.f. lipstick there. Um, it's the mineral ones. They're really quite nice. I've got three of the MUA lipsticks which are just really cheap um, but it's good to have a couple of different colours of them. This is an M&S um, lipstick by their brand, makeup brand Limited Collection and they've also got a makeup brand called Autograph so that's one from them. I basically bought this because of the crystals on it. I think it's absolutely stunning. It's not actually a colour I would wear. I'll show you it. Um, oh I've actually dented it but that's not really a colour I would wear. It just doesn't suit me but I absolutely adore the packaging so it basically stays in there 
to look pretty. Um, at the back I've got a Clinique chubby stick. I really like that one. I got that free in a magazine. I've got one of the Tanya Bar lip glosses. I like these so I want to get a few more of them. And a couple of the, these um, Revlon kind of sticks here. This is a Revlon Just Bit and Kissable. I've also got the Revlon Colour Burst here. So yeah, that's everything that's in this drawer. So the final part I have to show you is what I keep in the drawer of the vanity. Um, so basically these ones here are eyeshadow palettes. So I've got an Inglot eyeshadow palette, I've got the original, original Naked palette, I've got the Naked 2 palette, um, this one's a little Soap and Glory lid stuff, I've got the Too Faced Natural Eye palette and this one here is an MUA eyeshadow palette as well. So that's them. I've got my MAC... Um, quad? Do you call them a quad? I've forgotten. My MAC palette anyway. I've got my Stila palette here which is my favourite Stila in the light. I've got another little Stila palette here which is the natural one. Um, so that's what I keep in that one. Here I have got my MAC one which doesn't have much in it actually um, because I keep my favourite ones in this little quad. But I've got a couple of ones in here and this is the old school um, way to store them without being able to see them. Um, so this is it here, Deep Truth. Mm, can't remember many of these to be honest. Um, Sumptuous Olive possibly. Expensive Pink. Twinks. I'm not really 100% sure. I do use these from time to time. I've got an Urban Decay NYC palette. This is stunning actually. I'll show you this one. That's it there. I got that for a Christmas um, one year and I do use this one quite a lot. At this side here I've got some empties here that I want to talk about in an upcoming empties video. I just kind of set them there. Um, this one here has got some random stuff in it. These I am keeping to back to Mac because I'm not using them anymore. I've got some plasters, I've got some mini professionals and some little samples of the Hello Flawless by Benefit. Um, so that's really just kind of random stuff in there. So that is my tour of my vanity. I hope you have enjoyed it. I absolutely adore watching these videos. They are one of my favourites to watch. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed mine and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!